So, you know, whenever you get into leadership, at some point you get a conversation or you read something that gives you advice on how to have constructive, constructive criticism. And usually they liken it to an Oreo cookie. In other words, you will give a positive outer layer, then you'll give the negative, and then you'll finish it out yet again with another positive observation. So you get the Oreo cookie method. Well, apparently that method's been around for oh, a couple thousand years because John kind of seems to employ that in this letter that he's written to Gaius. Because if you remember, he starts off to Gaius and commends him for his character in doing good. And then he goes into uh, Diotrephes and he kind of gives the middle, the bad stuff. But then he comes back and he recognizes and he commends yet another person. So our tale of three men, we're now on the final person that he kind of writes uh, and finishes up the letter with. So we talked about verse 11 uh, yesterday, but we're going to use verse 11 as our kickoff point, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So verse 11 all the way through 14. Dear friends, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God, and anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. Demetrius is well spoken of by everyone, and even by the truth itself. We also speak well of him, and you know that our testimony is true. I have much to write to you, but I don't want to do it so with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon, and we will talk face to face. Peace to you. The friends here send their greetings. Greet the friends there by name. So uh, the reason why I wanted to start with verse 11 is because we have a bit of a compare contrast. If you remember, uh, we, st we had Demetrius, and he was really kind of verses 9 through 10. John was talking about how this guy is no good. And he talks about what it is to do evil, and he talks about what is good. And it's no coincidence that suddenly John switches and goes, Demetrius is well spoken of. So there's a, there's a little bit of a, of a not-so-subtle hint here. When he says, do not imitate what is evil but what is good, he's telling you that, hey, Diotrephes is not good. He is evil. And Demetrius, however, is good. And let me tell you why he's good. Because he is well spoken of by everyone and even by the truth itself. Now, if you remember what it was earlier, and you remember what, what John commended Gaius for, and for those people that were there, it gave me great joy in verse 3 that some believers came and testified about your faithfulness to the truth. So the truth is the common thing between Gaius and Demetrius. These guys have stayed rooted in the truth. And even though they could have swayed back and forth, they could have done all sorts of different things, they have remained faithful to the truth. And so Demetrius, because of his maintaining of God's truth, is well spoken of. Not only just by people around him, but by people that are away from that church. Think about it. He's also spoken well of by us. John says we. Well, who is we? Well, John. John's an elder. John's one of the original 12. He is, uh, well, he's not revered, but he's extremely well regarded. And, and he's paid attention to. He actually sat at the table with Jesus. And so when John says, we also speak well of him, he says, we as in the leadership of Jerusalem, probably. And we're looking at this going, okay, so this guy, he's solid. Which also then is a not so subtle reference of, hey, if you have any questions about what you need to be doing, you need to go talk to Demetrius. Which brings us to a question. Do we have people that we can rely on and trust? Well, yesterday, we looked at the reality that, that Diotrephes is, is, we're not that far from Diotrephes when it comes to struggling with truth, when it comes to pride, excuse me, when it comes to dealing with pride, but do we have someone that can speak into us and keep us from falling into that same trap of pride? John's saying here that Demetrius, he's one of those people. He's someone that you could talk to. But what about you? Mentoring is something that, that should be valued as followers of Christ. Not only should we do be doing the Paul Timothy thing, where we are having someone build, or, excuse me, where we're building into somebody, but we need to have a Demetrius in our life, someone that builds into us. And if you look back at Scripture and you see some of these stalwarts of the faith, people like Paul, Paul had people that built into him. Um, Paul and Barnabas. Paul and Silas, these were people that looked at Paul and they built in and they weren't even ashamed sometimes to speak the truth, even if it caused rifts. We need people like that in our lives. People that will hold fast to the truth rather than let us go on with our own pride and fall into the same trap as Diotrephes. All right, so there you go. There is 3 John. 
Uh, like I said, it was a tale of three men, but there's lots of stuff to look at. Uh, I hope you were blessed by it, and we will see you next time.